Oh, I played Ventus Noct. Uh, didn't I play that person the other day? Yeah, I did. <laughs> so I played I played Ventus Noct in uh, the Southern Oregon bracket the other day. That was the other only time I've played Guilty Gear since I've gotten back from California. I don't know if they're actually from like Eugene, but they were in the bracket, right? Uh, they, they were, they're, they definitely know some things about Faust. The problem that they were running into and fighting me was that every time they 6H, they did scouts as well, so I vortexed their ass. So I wonder if they're gonna be, you know, falling for that again. All right, and then we have vortex. Yep, th this is literally exactly what happened. <laughs> I'm not going to use the RC there. Okay, they're dead. Wow, this is there's a lot of rollback frames on this one. <laughs> the bomb's going to happen? Okay, everything's fine. I'm attacking. Cuz they're they're running out of um of FD, right? So uh, my plan there was they, once they started running out of FD, I was going to start um, doing a lot more far slashes because then if they don't have bar, they can't just push away far slash. And so it becomes pre patch soul. Okay, so now I have positive bonus. We're going to ban a bringer because I know he's going to jump. Vortex. And kill him before the bombs eat anything. Cool. Okay, well, <laughs> so now I have to play a native Persona next, which is the chip. I played him in the very first P&W bracket, I believe, uh, and it was it was pretty close from what I remember. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to really think about this one. So dash up throw has been a constant problem for me, right? Uh, not being able to react to leaf grab properly. Reacting and reacting properly are two different things when it comes to leaf grab, right? So we want to try and 5K the leaf grab. And if we're gonna jump the leaf grab, we just need to leave. We can't jump into uh, the corner, right? We need to get out of there because he's gonna recover before I can hit him. The other thing is, is we're gonna try to explode his ass if we hit him at any point. So meaning he may burst on first hit. I don't, ah, we, that's something we gotta figure out. And jump H is gonna be our best friend versus like Alpha Blade. Oh, RC, yeah, finish me off for sure. Nice. Oh, wow, that sucks. Okay, uh, we have a chance here. We just have to, Okay, okay. He's dead. <laughs> he should have burst it. <laughs> I tried. I tried. My mom's, I tried. Okay, I thought he was going to do run up throw, so I 5k'd. Well, now he's dead. So. That's how life works, is uh, you work super, super hard. You know, you go to your nine to five job. You, um, you know, you, you just, <laughs> you do a lot of manual labor, a lot of hard work, and then soul walks in, right? I'm so dumb, I'm so bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so bad. <laughs> I'm gonna DP here. What the fuck? I'm DPing again. God damn it. Okay. Hey, this can't kill, right? Okay. So I have a hundred me. We're backdash VRCing. Okay. So we saw what we needed to see. <gasps> okay, that's fine. Damn it, dude. I DP'd. Okay, so this is a problem. Wow, problem solved. <laughs> Fuck, that's a problem though. Okay, not a problem. <laughs> I, I I didn't realize that the uh, the the wall was getting ready to break, so I I tried the the max damage combo, right? Like I wanted to make sure that that problem was truly solved. I didn't want to deal with that guy anymore. <laughs> So now I have to play Kas uh, Kasiski. That name is very familiar. Um, you would think I would know PNW players really, really well, but some of the ones that have come up with Strive, I am not terribly knowledgeable about. Unfortunately, I'm not. I'm not a smart man, right? 
Oh, okay. I can play Kasiski now. Okay, so Kasiski is right next to me, right? Yeah, the e Okay, Eno. So unlike an Exerd, uh, I do not have nearly as much Eno experience. So I'm going to need to react a little bit better than I did before. So we're going to take our swig of water, and then we're going to get going. But like an Exerd, I used to play versus uh, Noslo Andy a lot because obviously he's local here, right? So that was pretty much the person I played literally every time I turned on the video game at, at a local. Okay, now this is bad because I don't have YRC, right? So, yeah. One more. Yep, finish it off. Okay, not, a, not, not the best first round, but that's okay. We're, we got to feel this out. Okay, and then confirm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. So that, that got a little bit better. That got a little bit better. He, so I, what I what I learned from that was that he's gonna freak out if he gets hit. Or, um, oh shit, <laughs> I couldn't take that burst, unfortunately. So we're just trying to stay outside of the range. Okay, overhead. Ah, okay, we're bursting. Oh, that was sick. Shades of Exerd. <laughs> okay, we don't have a lot of health here. We can play this nice and safe before we can go in. Ah. I thought they were going to super there. Yeah, I made a big mistake on that one. I died, right? Oh, shit. Okay. All right. We're good. We're good. <laughs> I tried to DP that. Oh, that's RC. Easy confirm on this one. Okay. They're close to the wall. If they can get the... Ah, shit. Yeah, that was, that was a poor decision because right there they stroke um, like they had been in previous games, right? So I should have just been looking for only stroke instead of forward air dash because not only is it... So even if they hadn't been doing stroke in that situation, the problem is is that um, stroke allows... Uh, or I mean, not, not stroke, sorry. Forward dash there is really, really bad because uh, I that's my wheelhouse as, as, as soul, right? So again... Stroke or just regular ass like 6P, 2S, maybe just throw a note, maybe HCL. Those are the things that, you know, the, the, the player should probably be looking for if they're Eno. So that's why my decision making there was really bad because I didn't really consider that, unfortunately. Yeah, I definitely worried about metered options too much. Uh, and then like when metered options came up, I was not uh, properly uh, like even baiting them in any way, shape or form. <laughs> Like, uh, in, in terms of, uh, YRC, right? Because YRC is what I used as the metered option. Yeah, okay, so I've played all my opponents in my pool. And Kasiski needs to play Native Persona, the chip player, right? So I could be first place in this pool if Native Persona, um, makes life hard for Kasiski. I think the way Dennis does, uh, these is that he specifically, um, if you're first in the pool, you get winner's bracket and then loser's bracket in the top eight if you're second. I'd have to double check here. But uh, I know for sure, at the very least, that I don't have to worry about any ties with uh, the other two players in the pool, right? So I'm guaranteed top, uh, what is it, 16, top eight? Oh, no, I read the bracket wrong. Okay, I'm sorry. You know who it was? Uh, they already played. It was these two that had not played. Ventus and Native. Okay, all right, got it. So that means I'm guaranteed loser's bracket. Well, so that sucks. The problem is, is I don't know this player. Oh, this is the person that literally like just joined the, the server or whatever, I think. Okay. Oh, it's another, you know. All right. Well, all right, y'all. We went into training mode and now we're being put to the test. So this is what we got to do. We have to first ascertain whether or not they are somebody who will use metered options in the first place. And then we, we want to make sure we're covering that stroke the big tree as much as possible. That was, that was just like preemptive. I wasn't even sure that they were going to stroke there. 
We're not going to RC. All right, this is the test. Are you going to use metered? Uh, well, you fell into Daisuke's vision. So you're dead. Oh my god, dude. Okay, I need to stop blocking. Okay, you're right. So right there, I was just blocking too much, right? Like I didn't I didn't 5k to get out. Oh, I got two S on accident. Finally, alright. I right, god dang it, I say you gotta start two Sing. Okay, that was a couple of execution errors, but we're fine. Everything's fine. Just don't be upset. Oh, God. Wait, what? I was walking. Oh, I must have slid my hand. Shit. Okay. Nice. Oh, my God. The game's... Nice. Yeah, I fucked up a lot there. That was that was definitely a deserved loss. I don't know why we're in five rollback frames, but <laughs> regardless of that. So uh, yeah, that was that was his top eight. So I'm dead. But that's okay. We got we got much needed practice because, like I said, I have not played since I got back from Cali outside of one time, right? So I needed to play. I definitely needed to play. I'm a really bad judge of connection if it's not just straight up ass, right? Like if the connection is not straight up ass, I'm like, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, bro. <laughs> right. Um, so in rollbacks, I notice a lot more, obviously, because they're they're rollbacks, right? Like <laughs> uh, I, I remember when I, I very first got Strive and I was playing on PS4 uh, and I was getting Celestial, right? And the first person I had to play in Celestial was a goddamn Japanese chip because for some reason he was in West Coast Celestial, right? And any time, any time the chip player jumped, the game would roll back. Like, so I, I, I couldn't figure out where he was even going because it was like, okay, he jumped at a forward arc. So clearly he's going this way, right? And then he would jump 2K, but it would roll back. And he was actually on the other side. Wow. Uh, and then right after that, I had to play a Korean Milia uh, right after that chip player. And so because I played the Korean Milia, the exact same thing happened. She would jump. And now because it's Milia, I think, OK, I can anti-air her unlike chip jump 2K, right? Because this was pre-patch before chip jump 2K got like sliced up. Um, and so I'm like, OK, I can anti-air her, right? I couldn't figure out which way to input 6P. I, I couldn't do it. It was not possible. And I would get jump H every time. All right. <laughs>